Hello, my name is Roland Dupre and I'm with the East Hartford Public Library and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about Kindle. Kindle is an Amazon product and you need an Amazon account in order to use Kindle. This might be a, an account that somebody has set up for you, which is a possibility. You also need to register it with Amazon. And when you borrow ebooks, you can borrow them for free from our library, but you have to go through Amazon. And you download the Overdrive app from Amazon in order to do this. Now I'm going to show you this. I'm going to turn this on. It's a little button at the bottom here. And the green light goes on. You can see that green light. And I'm going to unlock it. And right away, it comes to my home page. And that is the OverDrive app. That's where we're going. I've downloaded the OverDrive app from the Amazon website. And by clicking on it, I go to inside the OverDrive app. All right. So we're going to start looking at how to borrow books using OverDrive on a Kindle. So to recap, you'll need an Amazon account, a Wi-Fi connection, and your library card. And this is what the OverDrive app looks like when you download it from the App Store onto your Kindle. Now, you can borrow books using your library account from OverDrive on the Kindle or from the library's website. So we're starting at the Town of East Hartford's website. We're going over to Government and down to Library. And when we get to the Library site, we, we have all these menu selections. We're going to go to eBooks and we have right up the top the uh, overdrive app and we're going to click on overdrive this connects us to the downloadable catalog that library connection offers we have up at the top the menu we have subjects collections kindle books kids magazines search the notification bell the bookshelf and my account i've i've uh already signed in to my account and I'm going to go to Kindle Books and you can see we have a lot of results here. Um, one of the filters is Kindle Books. I'm going to go down here and filter it with available now, those books that we can borrow right away. I'm going to uh, go down here and find another filter. Um, mystery is a good one to filter. And then I'm going down and going to say historical fiction. So it'll be a mystery and it'll be a historical fiction. And as I uh, look at all of these different ones, oh wow, there's some really interesting ones. I like P.D. James. I think I'm going to borrow P.D. James. So here we have this in our collection. We can borrow it and um, I can borrow it for 21 days, it says. If I change my mind, I can cancel it. Now here we come to a, a yes, it's been borrowed, but on your account but now you choose read now with Kindle and what happens is that it takes you out to the Amazon website and then you have to uh, let me move this frame over a little bit so you can see you have to get the library book so you're not done yet you're gonna get the library book and I'm already signed into my Amazon account, um, but you can see that you have choices to continue shopping or read now in Kindle Cloud Reader. Here we are at the Kindle, and what we're going to be doing is we're going to sync 
the Kindle with the loans that you've done online, um, those menu items of those menu items, the second from the left is a sync. And I pressed it and it should be coming up. So the P.D. James novel will be in my carousel. If you look at, that's what's called a carousel as I go through. Um, there's all these books I've borrowed and there is uh, the P.D. James one, Death Comes to Pemberley. I'm clicking on it and I've already started reading it so you can see the page that I'm on and what it looks like in Kindle. There's um, not everything goes on a Kindle. The um, formats are different from the other formats that you might be able to read on other e-readers. So this is the uh, search area on the Kindle. I'm, on, I'm in my OverDrive app and I'm looking on the Kindle. I happen to know that I, I borrowed this book and it can't be read on a Kindle. Um, G.K. Chesterton's The Innocence of Father Brown. Um, it's a great book and I'm really sad that I can't read it on my Kindle. And I'll show you why. I'm going to Loans. And these are all the loans that I've taken out in this process. And you can see that uh, black line next to the book image. And there's a blue line there, Pride and Prejudice. That's an EPUB um, format. And same with Father Brown. It's an EPUB format. It's not something that can be read on a Kindle unless you change the format. So all of these can be read on a Kindle except for Pride and Prejudice <laughs> and the Father Brown. And if you try it, it you'll just get frustrated. So um, if you want to, you can call us at the library. We can answer your questions about it. If you want to go ahead and uh, try to change the format, that's a possibility too. All right. Have a great day.